Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel, Healing for Change. As you guys can tell, this is going to be a love reading for Aquarius. This is a timeless reading. So whenever you find this, it's meant for you. Also, this is for any Aquarius placement. So sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Lilith, you name it. Or you could just be curious about an Aquarius. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? Let's go ahead and get started, my loves. Open minds, open hearts. We clear out all negativity. Okay, so um, I'm going to be doing my readings a little bit different going forward since I've came back. <laughs> um, so I am going to uh, start with the Love Oracle deck, which are these ones right here. Um, then I'm going to move to my Life Lessons cards. I don't know the official name for that, but I will make sure um, to get it for you guys next video. We may pull some tarot. I just did the Pisces reading. If you have Pisces in your chart or dealing with the Pisces or just are called to watch the reading just based off of the um, title. Um, I didn't pull any tarot in that video. Okay. My spirit just did not call me to. Okay. So um, I'm just going with the flow of the reading. Um, and then as usual, we will close with a positive affirmation card. Okay. Hmm, okay, that's interesting. So one card for sure I know came out in the other Aquarius reading, which I posted, I think a few days ago. Um, if you guys have not seen it, I strongly encourage you guys to go watch it, okay? Because it seems like that it's a similar message, okay? Um, and bear with me. Um, I am going to be shuffling and pulling cards on camera. Usually I do that off camera um so it just might take me a little bit longer do i want to keep shuffling no let's leave it there okay so first card coming out aquarius we have friendship okay so nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve okay i'm going to read that one more time friendship nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve okay so it looks like a friend has started your romantic interests um but a uh, friendship is usually attached to aquarius stone um you could have a heavy focus on friendship but i feel like that uh that your new romantic interests um, or potential because you may not have met this person um, is going to be a friend. OK, so I feel like that you'll spend a lot of time working on the friendship before you get to the actual connection. OK, um, I hear some Aquarius saying, eh. <laughs> um, which is interesting. I feel like most um, Aquarius or us Aquarius, because I'm a son Aquarius myself, um, we tend to want to have friendship. OK, but for some reason, it's it's taken a lot longer than you hoped i'm hearing aquarius okay um or friendship is a big folk like it's a phase that you guys can't push push past i'm hearing push past um or pish push pop <laughs> or what is the phrase piss posh i don't know if that's vulgar but that's what I'm hearing. I don't know why. Okay. For some reason you guys are not on. Okay. Maybe that means that you guys are not on board with the friendship with them right now. Okay. It's a lot of heavy energy on that. I think I'm going to pull tarot on that eventually when we get to that point. Um, but freedom, there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Okay. So I, I feel like Pisces got this card. Okay. Um, or maybe they didn't. It might have been at the bottom of the deck for them, okay? But um, it's something that's bonding you or shackling you. And that could have been why I mentioned the Pisces reading in the beginning because it's similar energy. So you could have Pisces in your chart or it could be something in the collective as well too. The energy was just really heavy for me today and I'm not really too sure why um, at all. Um, so I'm getting eight of swords from that, okay? So um, there's a need for you to free yourself, okay? You're shackled to some idea or past concept, um, Aquarius, about this friend or friendship in general. Um, I don't know. It's interesting. I'm curious to see what the tarot cards are going to say. Um, don't make decisions based on guilt 
or what you think you should do for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others okay hmm the next card after that it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another now is the time to give to yourself okay it is important right now to take a step and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another now is the time to give to yourself okay so this gives me um is it four of swords you guys is that is that the card that i'm thinking of um yeah i feel like that you guys are resting taking care of yourself practicing self-care okay and that could be why that there's a heavy focus on friendship right now um but spirit is encouraging you to invest more time in this friend or friendship in general okay which is interesting because i feel like that that usually comes very natural to aquarius just because of our um house and the planet like it's a lot of stuff that goes into goes into that um but you guys seem like you have taken a step away from it okay so i guess let's move into tarot for this reading now and then we'll do the life lessons later on if we're called to at the bottom of the deck we have trust trans transformation i'm really stumbling on my words transformation occurs through acceptance once you accept the current situation it will automatically transform okay so there's a lack of acceptance okay so you need to trust in the process i'm hearing aquarius okay so something is out of your comfort zone um which I know that feeling, like I said before, I'm a Sun Aquarius myself. I also have a Mercury in Aquarius. Um, a lot of things I'm doing lately is out of my comfort zone um, in my actual career. Um, I have another uh, job outside of this. Um, it's a lot of things that I'm doing that's different. Okay, so this could have something to do with career because I'm bringing that up. Um, And maybe that this is the collective Aquarian energy. Um, even this reading I'm doing and the style of it is just, it's foreign to me, okay? Um, it's not my usual uh, status quo I'm hearing, okay? So um, the person that you could be interacting with could not be your typical status quo. I'm honestly not even sure what that means, but that's the phrase that's coming to mind okay um so you could be doing something out of your comfort zone talking to somebody that's outside of your comfort zone or your norm okay i think that's what we're really trying to get at um and uh it's just very uncomfortable for you okay um so i'm using i'm really trying to tap a lot deeper into my heart chakra um and on my channel okay as i said that the sun car popped out okay so that is confirmation and omen that I am on my right path, which is beautiful. Okay. So, um, that's a message for everybody watching as well too. We are on our right path. Okay. So even if you guys feel uncomfortable right now, um, and just the energy is really tough for you, uh, you could be experiencing a lot of anxiety, a lot of sad moments too, a lot of ups and downs I'm hearing. Okay. It could be like an emotional roller coaster. Um, it could be some mental health concerns too and this is a side note it won't be for everybody i don't want to get too heavy um but uh if friendship or you don't feel like you have a support system um i'm encouraging anybody uh watching this that is struggling with heavy mental health um health concerns right now to seek professional uh, mental health services okay somebody needs to hear that today I, and i don't know why i'm telling that but somebody needs to watching this um but anyways, like I was saying, um, it may be a very uncomfortable path or journey you're on, a connection or a friendship. Um, it could be I'm because I'm I'm trying to say two different things at one time. It could be that this is going to bloom into something more. 
and just the inch the tension or the energy is just high okay like you can feel it like like you can cut it with a knife i'm hearing okay um and that's currently how i feel myself right now um but you're gonna get through it okay i'm hearing that it's a reason why you're going through this okay it has a purpose um you just need to free yourself from your own old and own thought process okay for some reason um i'm hearing those two words okay um as aquarius friendship is easy for us okay um intimate connections and i can't speak for every aquarius because we all have different things in our chart um for myself I have a lot of water placements okay so i tend to be a lot more emotional once you have gotten to know me um maybe compared to other queries that don't have that in their chart um but like i was saying um i totally lost my train of thought that's so weird um but yeah we we tend to uh focus I don't want to say surface level. I feel like that sounds so cold. And honestly, unfortunately, we, we are a lot of times um, labeled as being very cold hearted. OK, so in layman's time, you guys, there's a need for us to tap into our heart chakra. I'm hearing. OK. And be more intimate. That's the word I'm looking for. It's not really being cold or detached. Um, and I'm also hearing the word to not be as selfish, okay? Um, and I, I know that's weird because at the same time, Aquarius, we, we kind of have that, um, we're very giving, we're humanitarians um, by nature and at our core, um, but we can be very selfish with our emotions, okay? And how much we give to people on an intimate uh, level and connection as well too, okay? Um, so coming out over friendship, we have 21, the world card. Okay. So you are completing a cycle with this person. Okay. Um, but it's a friend. Okay. Um, and it could literally just be a platonic friend. Um, but this is a love reading. I feel like it's something that's blooming into more honestly, or has the potential to bloom into more. Um, and there's a cycle that needs to be completed with this person. Okay. Or it will be in the near future. Okay. Can I have clarity on the world card? Two of swords. Okay. Um, there's a decision that needs to be made. Okay. It's a painful decision. Okay. Um, it, it, it feels like that you're making a blind decision. That's what I'm taking from that card. I'm not sure why. Um, a blind decision about family. Okay. Uh, ten of pentacles um but ten of pentacles is all encompassing for me so it's it's prosperity um which could include or could be um wealth money but that isn't always the tangible thing of like money like dollar bills or um uh, i shouldn't even say dollar but bills or or uh dollars or or coins or like credit or debit card or houses and cars like prosperity and wealth is like um a lot of times it's found within okay um and that can be found within love uh from family um friends as well too okay um in environments and situations that we include ourselves in purposes careers passions interests um i feel like that's all encompassing of the ten of pentacles okay so you're making there's a cycle you have to end okay um, but you're making a blind decision or you feel like that you don't want to make the wrong decision. So you're kind of battling that. OK, and you're and you're in your head a lot about it, Aquarius. OK, um, it could be saying as well that um, there's a new chapter, a new cycle in your life um, about starting a family. OK, um, with a potential friend or somebody that you're meeting that you could start a family with. OK, so. Um, they're saying be mindful and cautious of not making a blind decision or ending this cycle too soon because it's saying at the end of the road whatever decision you make is going to lead you to a ten of pentacles okay that's interesting um coming over top of freedom 
is the high priestess okay so there's nothing stopping you the path is clear if you want it to be which i talked a lot about pisces energy at the beginning of the reading and on the freedom card i think it was at the bottom of the deck and this the high priestess is a uh, pisces energy in the major arcana okay very powerful so there's a connection to pisces okay um you could have that in your chart like i said before you could be dealing with the pisces um There's a need for you to follow your intuition, okay? And that's if you have Pisces in your environment or in your chart, um, or if you don't. Uh, there's a calling for you to attach yourself to your higher self um, and to your intuition, okay? And a lot of times as Aquarius, we tend to focus on facts, logic, uh, practicality, the king of swords, king of, um, not king of swords, but king of, um, I keep on saying that. I want to say the king and queen of swords but i'm heavily focused on the king of swords so let's just stick with that um there's a reason for that um it comes off very stoic very cold-hearted that's what i was rambling on before and i know i was trying to get to something but i just didn't know what i was searching for okay um and that's how you guys could be could be feeling right now that you're searching for something you don't know how you're supposed to get to it but um there's a deeper calling or, or your intuition is saying that it's searching for something or your soul is saying it's searching for something um and in and in order for you to find that, that aquarius i'm hearing that you need to follow your intuition um it may not make sense which i know is mind-blowing for an aquarius uh air sign in general but just especially an aquarius we are so um i don't even want to say focused but uh just naturally we're just in our head space our crown chakra all the time so this may not make any sense for you okay you um you may have to spend more time in your heart chakra i'm hearing okay um or in your third eye okay so um not being able to see it uh, touch it or make sense of it within the 3d but something is telling you your higher self um, your intuition which is attached to the 5d which we can bring those things down um if we are able to tap into that and be conscious of it then it then it manifests into our reality that's what i'm trying to say okay so have faith about something okay so um you need to free your intuition i'm hearing okay it's shackled it's chained okay so whatever the energy of, of a pisces is and, and i want you guys to research that and look up the high priestess and just the zodiac sign pisces positive traits okay positive okay so we all go through a journey within our zodiac sign of being at our lowest and being at our highest that is a lifelong journey i believe personally and sometimes we may go in and out of low and higher vibrations throughout our lifetime okay but there's always a lesson in that okay so embody the energy of the high priestess and of a high vibing pisces i'm hearing okay coming out over don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others we have the four pinnacles coming out okay so i think i mentioned earlier about uh aquarius sometimes we struggle with uh being selfish with our time and and how intimate we are within our connections with people okay and we we really struggle with being vulnerable okay um so there's a calling for you to be more vulnerable um and less selfish with your emotions and within your intimate connections okay it could be with this friend or a romantic partner but i'm just hearing in general so friends family people that you hold close to yourself okay even i'm hearing and i know this may sound wild even with strangers okay we want to push past that friendly energy and start to uh embody more of a intimate connection with everyone okay and i know that sounds odd but just having connections and relating and the the energy flows and it comes from a place of love always okay so that might encompass um sharing more of yourself and your experiences okay you could be very private i'm hearing and people around you that care about you and love you right now they want to know more of you they want you to share more they want you to talk more openly about your emotions 
okay and how you feel about things and about them as well too okay and that's just not this friend or romantic partner i think that that's like i said all aspects of your life and everybody that you're um encountering right now coming out under it is important right now to take a step and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another now is the time to give to yourself coming underneath that is the sun card okay leo in the major arcana uh, so we have leo and pisces energy on the table um i think i may have a leo reading up but i'm going to do another one in this style uh right after this one if i don't get to it today then on the weekend um check out for it okay um but you could be dealing with the leo or pisces or have that somewhere in your chart or like i said just embodying that energy of a leo or a pisces so leos leos are very brave courageous very bold um very pure and honest in their love okay um of course there's ego and pride attached to that but i mean we have everyone experienced that no matter what um sign we are in the zodiac okay but um, something positive is happening in your life, okay? I see a lot of joy. Uh, the sun card is always a good omen. It, it always means yes. It could mean, um, it's weird. When I said it could mean the first word that came to my mind is marriage, okay? So you'll know how that resonates for you, okay? Um, but yeah, I just see a lot of joy in that card, okay? Um, but she's by herself though, okay? So a lot of times we don't realize that we find abundance or abundance starts within and it flows out into our environments and the people that we are connected with or those that want to connect with us okay um so like the car said it, it is a need for you to spend some time to yourself okay and really put self first um and practice self-care um that can include meditation that could include just loving yourself being kind to yourself not being overly critical um, if you make a mistake, don't beat yourself up for it. Just little things like that, okay? Um, could be practicing self-care or putting yourself first, okay? In regards to love heavily, page of cups, someone's trying to sweep you off of your feet, okay? It could be a very... Um, well, this I'm going to say this because this is what is flowing. It could seem very magical to you okay and when i say that i mean it could catch you off guard it could be very unexpected that's what i'm hearing okay so it could be like when pigs fly okay so when you see that up there it's gonna catch you off guard okay um it may even cause a tower moment i'm hearing as well too that's how heavy the energy is for you at the bottom of the deck we have the ace of cups Okay, so that self-love that I talked about earlier as well, too. There's a big focus on that. Also, there's a brand new beginning in love with yourself and with someone in particular and just with everyone. Okay, um, I feel like that you're really going to transform and be a lot more um, loving and open with people. And the thing is, Aquarius are very loving people. Um, I think that we just don't show it easily, um, especially to those that we don't know that well or we don't trust. Okay. But I'm hearing or a spirit is encouraging you to be more open, uh, to be more loving, unconditional. Okay. Uh, to not hold grudges. Um, let's be honest. We can get like that. Okay. We are fixed and we are human. Um, so sometimes if people hurt us, Aquarius, we tend to cut them off or block them um, for a lifetime or many lifetimes. OK, um, and blocking can be physically like blocking someone on the phone or it could just be a spiritual energy like people can feel that you're closed off and blocked from them. OK, even if you haven't told them or they're still contacting you or, or you're still talking to them, they could feel that that you're separating yourself or blocked or close yourself off from them healing from a heartbreak or you could feel heartbroken from this person also oddly enough i never really feel this when i see this, see this card um you could be repairing your heart okay i think i feel positive energy on that i feel like that you're repairing your heart or your heart is repairing okay your your heart chakra could also be opening up as well too okay so expanding you could feel like that you're breaking apart but in actuality, the heart is expanding. It's opening. Um, you're sending out uh, 
message and frequencies and vibrations of love into the atmosphere and to people that that um, you're connecting with and they feel that they see the change most importantly they feel it coming from you which is a beautiful thing Aquarius um, but you personally are crying over spilt milk I'm at almost 25 minutes that's wow um, I didn't expect this reading to be this long but like I said we're going with the flow okay there's a lot of conflict uh, that's within you and may also be uh, in your environment or you could be probably projecting it into your environment um, and that could be mutual energy. So this is for a very particular person and connection within your life, which I think is romantic or it could be with this friend. Um, I'm going to say it's mutual. OK, um, you guys are both feeling a lot of conflict within and it's projecting into your reality and you guys could be feeling like that you don't get along or it's not flowing or you guys have been in a lot of conflict lately and you think it's a personality um, quirk or something like that or that you guys aren't a good fit or that you aren't supposed to be in each other's lives but in reality it's just whatever emotions and love that you guys are feeling from your heart chakra expanding since you guys have met each other or whatever time period that you guys have been on this spiritual journey um, of evolving um, it's creating a lot of conflict within you because you're not used to experiencing it or feeling it. So it's it's foreign to you. Like I mentioned, it's uncomfortable. OK, and finally, we're getting back to that. I knew I was going somewhere with that. Um, so you guys are manifesting into your environment between each other. OK, um, so be conscious of that. OK, and just um, be accepting that it is from a place of your heart chakra expanding okay um and that you guys need that to happen to be able to transform this connection okay um after that we have the knight of uh, wands there's a lot of passion between you guys okay a lot of passion i'm hearing okay a lot of healing too of the sacral and the solar plexus chakra okay um after that is number six the lovers gemini energy Okay, so that's that soulmate. It could be twin flame. Use the verbiage that fits best for you. Okay, a soul contract. Okay, and I don't know if you guys believe in this, but literally this card from the book says that this could be a soul contract. Okay, so you guys have known each other many lifetimes possibly. Okay, so a lot of times when you've known somebody before, um, and if you don't believe in that concept, I should say it like this. Um, if you feel an instant attraction to somebody instantly, like the first time you hear their voice or the first time you see them, I mean, instantly. Um, and for I'm going to say for an Aquarius, we don't usually feel that. So if you feel that instantly, um, you recognize that person. OK, um, your soul or heart i'm hearing recognizes that person okay so that is why you could be feeling like you known this person from from somewhere or it could flow very naturally and i know that's weird because it kind of contradicts the conflict thing that i said earlier but um there's an instant attraction that i'm hearing okay king of pentacles okay so somebody could have taurus in their chart um, this person could be like the King of Pentacles. Um, they could embody that energy. So very wise, very prosperous, very wealthy. That isn't just tangible things. Like I said earlier, it could also be like a mental, uh, spiritual thing as well, too. They could also feel this way about you. OK, you guys could receive a lot of lessons and a lot of wisdom from each other. Um, it could be a very healing energy, a very prosperous uh, energy between you guys. Um, I feel like it's an equal give and flow. Um, I don't know if you guys recognize that or you feel that way or you guys could be fighting that energy, um, that it is mutuality. There is commonality between you guys. OK. And it brings you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. If you look at this person, how happy they are. OK, um, you guys can learn a lot from each other, um, experience a lot of healing from each other. OK, you guys offer healing energies to each other, but it flows. Uh, freely back and forth between you guys okay so it's not toxic it's not un unhealthy okay queen of pentacles wow <laughs> that is crazy you guys i didn't even notice that that is insane so queen uh king of pentacles comes out first leaves with queen of pentacles crazy okay back to back okay so 
I'm hearing that you guys have each other's back, okay? And when I look at the cards, how they came out, at first I thought you guys were back to back, but they're actually facing each other. Facing each other, okay? So he's looking at her in joy. Um, she's one with herself. She's very peaceful. She's following her intuition. She's very nurturing, very loving, very mothering. I get like a mother and father type of dynamic, okay? You guys could have children together or you will have children together. Very balanced, very calming, very joyful energy. It is so beautiful. I don't think I've ever felt this before or seen this before in a reading. Like I said, something is not the status quo or the norm for you, okay? So, um... Something about this connection makes you uncomfortable or it's outside of your norm, like I said. Okay, so that could be anything, okay? Um, it could be color and skin tone. I'm just noticing automatically, okay? So that could be race, nationality, ethnicity. Is that is that how you say it, ethnicity? I think I might have pronounced that wrong. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, but that's the word that I heard. It could be religion. It could be sex, gender, you name it, okay? You'll know how that resonates for you, for your situation, okay? But something is dramatically different about you guys, okay? On the outside, though, on a soul level, you guys are very similar, I'm hearing, okay? That is a very beautiful connection, okay? You guys are very calm. Um, you're very calming for the person that you're thinking of or that's going to come into your life. And this person brings you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, a lot of peace as well, too. But it's a very high vibing, energetic energy. And yours is a very calming, nurturing. OK. There's some mother and father issues that you guys both have. OK, so whatever energy you are within the connection, it's going to heal that person in whatever connection they have had with that particular gender a parent if that makes sense so what i'm saying is um if you are the masculine um if you are the masculine aquarius okay that doesn't have to be gender it's just energy okay or you could be a man it doesn't matter just take how it resonates for you okay if you are the masculine aquarius watching this whatever feminine energy or woman that you meet right now She's going to heal whatever issues you have with your mother. Okay. If you're the feminine Aquarius watching this um, and you meet a, the masculine energy or the man, he's going to heal whatever um, father issues you have. Okay. Very deep. And I think you got just parents in general, I'm hearing. Okay. Um, it's going to be very healing for whatever childhood experiences you have with your parents i know that's very deep okay very very deep and i know that i know for myself i always thought that that was so unhealthy i always thought that healing can only truly happen from within the inside which is true okay so it starts within okay so you guys have done so much healing as individuals and separately so far that that has drawn you to each other okay or allowed you to to manifest this type of partner that you guys can have that even uh healthy flow of healing between each other uh, because you guys have done the self self work alone okay um and there's more self work you're doing at this point um but there's a calling to do healing together with another individual right now okay and that's on top of the lovers card okay so beautiful 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 reading okay you know i think i'm gonna leave it there um i did want to read some cards from the bottom of the deck but the energy is just so positive and so high vibing um so and i made 33 minutes so let's pull um maybe like one lesson card and close with a positive affirmation card okay to end the reading and i think this is perfect adversity i accept that challenges are the best way to learn okay so that's that conflict and not the status quo or not the norm that i was picking up on earlier and i wasn't sure why okay so this person is very 
it appears to you that this person is very different than you or you guys appear to be very different like i said but in actuality you guys have a lot of things in common aquarius okay you just have to be um i'm hearing be aware of it and get to know each other more okay so that's why i think that that focus on friendship is so big okay there's some trust though okay some trust and indecision on your end and probably the other person i think the energy is mutual okay so i'm not sure how you guys can repair the trust um i'm hearing repair so something could have happened that rubbed you the wrong way aquarius or rubbed the other person the wrong way okay and there might need to be a conversation had about that and you it might happen i'm gonna say around the capricorn full moon so around july 13th so sometime next week i think or the week after or this month we'll say there's a conversation that's going to be had or you could have already had it um that focuses on trust and you guys building more of a friendship and trust within this connection or your friendship deepening okay and that's going to improve the love connection and strengthen it okay um as aquarius and maybe just as human beings in general um sometimes friendship is more important than anything and that tends to lay the foundation um of a romantic connection in our life okay um and that's that trust i'm still waiting for a positive affirmation card i'm shuffling for some reason it just does not want to come out i'm gonna take that one i'm gonna take it uh the positive affirmation that came out, my love, says, I know something better is waiting for me, okay? And these are cards that I write myself. So the I, I actually, instead of putting like a regular period, typical, I put a heart, okay? So something better is waiting for you. To me, I take that love is waiting for you, okay? Um, you may not have been living in an energy of love lately. Um, my Aquarius that are watching this, okay? And that could have been a lifelong journey for you um, at this uh, stage in your life or throughout your life, I should say, up into this stage. Um, but know that something better is waiting for you, okay? And I think that's what the intuition part that I was telling you guys about is that you may not be able to see this right now, okay? So you have to really have faith and trust in your intuition okay um because this may not materialize fully into its full potential for a while i'm hearing okay and i want to put a time frame on it but i don't think that that's really relevant or something that you should focus on aquarius and that may be um you may be too focused on that because there's a reason why i'm saying that um so i'm going to read this two more times to speak into existence okay I know something better is waiting for me. I know something better is waiting for me. And so it shall be. I say, okay. So say that however many times you need to say it to call it and draw it into your reality and um, to manifest it. Okay. Um, if you resonated with this um, or if you simply enjoyed it or if you want to share your story, uh, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Um, I don't think I have any more announcements. I feel like I'm missing something. I don't know why, but I'm going to leave it there. That's all I have for you to, today, my loves. Um, if you have not heard this today, you are loved and you are cherished. Until next time, my loves. Bye-bye.